What's up guys? I am at Quail Lodge Golf Course. Just got done and uh, it was an interesting one out there. The course is in immaculate condition. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this one. Let's hit the course. All right, taking on Quail Lodge. Uh, first try was just a wimpy fade. I was not driving the ball this well today and it was pretty windy, uh, but this driver information and statistics is brought to you by Arcos. Next, I just laid it up, uh, second shot into the wind, just wanted to get into a scoring position. Um, but it ended up being a lot farther than I anticipated. Took a longer club and I ended up hitting it left. Uh, so I just wanted to chip on the green and just two putt. And uh, the greens were pretty quick. And notice you can see that there's a little bit of sprinkling going on, but it's a beautiful course and cannot complain. So this is what I had remaining for my par and left it short getting a little scared of these greens today but hey can't complain as you can see Arcos data next up a long par three into the wind thought I hit it pretty good but ended up being just a tad short um, so I had some work here for my par just wanted to get up and down and get close enough to uh, put it in so here's my chip like I said greens are rolling pretty good I didn't hit that very hard and it rolled up there almost made it so ended up getting a par Next up, hit a pull hook off the tee. Not very good. It gets caught up in the rough and doesn't go very far. Hence the low number there, 204. Woo! Next up, just hit another iron. End up pulling it, but hitting it pretty hard. So I'm over the trap in between the two bunkers on the left-hand side. Here comes the approach. Did a little practice swing here. Hit it up there. And I hit it way too hard rolling way too fast for that type of shot from the rough here's my par save and rolls it barely past i thought i barely tapped that in rolled pretty far so the course is in great condition it's so green out there and so lush so i'll hit another bogey two over next up a beautiful hole and i just make the worst of my you know two iron here my driving iron up the left hand side gets caught in the rough so i have a super long shot um into my next shot uh, basically hit it as flush as possible but I end up pretty short but yeah there's this one house that you see you know in the background there that's just that's the highlight of the hole it's just beautiful home at the end of this fairway um, so end up chipping it up and it's just not enough so as you see in this next putt got some work to do so end up hitting it a little short but I'll take it a little tap in here bogey not a great hole so short next up is a beautiful downhill par three into a ton of wind even though it's downhill is playing pretty long um, valley views all around and just greenery and perfection everywhere so i ended up a little short ended up chipping on and not a great attempt it just ends up being short but i'm just used to things rolling out pretty far because of how fast things were so like as you see another long putt and nope not close enough so another bogey four over next up just a short par four took out the two iron again and just poked it down in the middle no complaints here both my family members went to the right into the creek so thought I'd take the the nice safe approach uh, the approach here I hit it to the left of the green almost went into the water so I got lucky and so now I'm just chipping onto the green I almost thought I made this chip guys, it was really close get it, get it, get it. and then it rolls out oh. way past the hole so I have a tough comebacker for par and lips out so hate to see it, uh, bogey here, should have been at least a par but you know what, I'll take it. Next up, driving problems still are happening, still losing it out to the left, uh, ended up figuring out after the round what it was but not a great drive into the left hand rough here now hitting up into the green and yeah these approach shots definitely hurt me the most maybe from 150 oh, no. out 150 to 100 yards i need to definitely work on so chip on to the green and it's looking just all right here's my putt so i actually ended up getting a par after that next up another long par three these get kind of tiresome after a while you're just like you're just praying that you get onto the green and if not you're praying you're close enough to just chip on and you know save your par but obviously definitely did not get close enough 
here's my chip hit pretty tough or hit pretty hard and it rolled out and so I got a putt for now par which is you know definitely not one of the most makeable putts gave it my best run missed it there hit it way too hard but ended up saving it and getting bogey but the par threes tough here next up is the par five on number nine so I end up playing a more of a draw here and playing for it and setting up for it so up I'm on the left side into the rough I got pretty lucky with the lie here, so I ended up just laying up to a scorable number. Um, so the layup was pretty poor, felt pretty good. Uh, next up, you know, that 100 yard in shot, you know, this approach, definitely giving me some trouble. So what I end up doing is pulling it and tugging it a little bit, I end up in the trap. So here comes my sand shot, basically the highlight of my day here. Ended up chipping a birdie, uh, yeah, felt really good. Oh man, I was on a high right there. Next up is beautiful hole 10. It's just like you're inside of the, you know, the Carmel Valley Mountains. Um, hit a driving iron into the middle of the green. Like I said, not very far out. Here's my approach. And guess what? I end up in the sand trap on the right. Pretty upset here. End up chunking it. Not used to actually having nice sand. Barely get it out once again. And now I'm just in trouble here. Chip it on ends up rolling way further than I anticipated. Not too happy after a birdie here. Try to make the comeback, and I miss. So, triple bogey. Not a great way to start the back nine. All right, taking another driving iron to the middle of the fairway. This one kind of flirts with the right hand rough, but you know what? Feels pretty good. I'm ready to go. Have a pretty good manageable shot into the green. And the woes of the shots into the green still continue. So this is definitely probably the weakness of my game. It's just trying to get on in the green regulation. Chipping on. Looks pretty good. Blind shot into the green. So don't know where it ends up. Ends up maybe 15 feet past the hole. And I sink it for par. So feeling really good after that triple. Alright. Finally not a long par 3. But it was pretty windy. So I was trying to play around that. Ended up hitting it into the bunker on the right. And as you can see, my bunker play with these really nice bunkers is not all that great. Um, used to getting a lot more out of the bunker than, than you know this fluffy sand. Here's my putt for to save par. Zoom it right by the hole. Very bad putt. Very bad read. Then on top of that, trying to finish that. Not very good. Double bogey. Moving on to the next hole. Drove this one and flirted out to the right. Not very good. There's a lot of wooded areas over there. Uh, and an OB. Luckily, I stayed in bounds and I just punched out. Unfortunately, I just punched out to the sand trap that you see right in front of you. Um, next shot into the green. Uh, very ominous, but I ended up just punching it up to the spot. Ended up chipping on here. Not a very good chip. It just took it to the left. Luckily, I was able to sink this button and save my bogey. It was a very stressful one. All right, hard dog leg left. So I ended up taking a quote unquote shortcut. Uh, that's because my driver was just pull hooking left. So I ended up aiming for the center and let my miss do its thing. Uh, so I ended up pretty short neck shot. And I just ended up laying up because there's some water that I didn't want to get into trouble. So laid it up to the perfect, uh, to the perfect yardage. And once again, just praying that I get on into the green in regulation. And finally, finally, guys, I was able to do it. So here's my birdie attempt. And not the greatest of attempts. Short, short and below the hole. But was able to make the second putt. So finally, another par. Getting back on track. Next up is another par five. Playing the pull hook. Uh, it's aiming for the center of the fairway. But hey, aimed a little bit right. Ended up going left down the middle with the wind didn't roll very far. Next shot just laying up to that distance that I like which is probably ideally if I had a choice would be around 130 yards. End up hitting this iron onto the green and hit it pretty decently close. This is for my birdie attempt and I gave it a run so I'm pretty happy with that putt. Didn't miss low side and it went past the hole. Stress free par. Hey I like that. All right this should be a very short easy shot I just needed to hit it 200 yards, which I did, but lo and behold, I hit the sand trap literally in the middle of the fairway. So that was my fault, should have aimed more left. 
Next shot just kind of bladed the sand shot out of there and it ends up going up to the cart path on the right and I'm in this really, really funky lie, kind of like in a ball surrounded with grass kind of situation. Well, this is kind of bullshit. Oh no. So, I end up taking my chip, ball well above my feet, and it turned out to be pretty dang good. So I was pretty happy about that. Here's my par save and just quite couldn't get it there. Didn't play enough break, bummer. But I'll take a bogey from that spot. All right, final stretch, par three. It was about a two club wind. A beautiful home in the upper right hand corner on that cliff up there. And I end up getting on the green in regulation, but that's just where the work begins. The green was pretty large and it's pretty sloped. So I was just really hoping for a two putt here. Uh, didn't give enough break, obviously it's well below the hole. I was just holding my breath for this putt and it went in. So I end up getting a par on the number 17th hole. All right, final stretch here. Just took the driving iron out, hit it down the center of the fairway, only 346 yards. So uh, from the orange tees, it's only about 6,000 yards, but first time playing the course, I'll take what I can get. Second shot into the green. It's looking pretty good. However, this is a pretty big green, so green regulation nonetheless, can't complain. Man, this putt I read so incorrectly and hit it so wrong that I just can't explain it. Really, just can't. So I have this for my par. And again, just a really bad putt. So bogey, no complaints, had a great time. So as you can see, not the best, but not the worst. I had a birdie chip in, which is the highlight for me. Had a lot of good approaches into the green. Had a lot of bad approaches into the green. Putting was about half and half. Um, so we'll see. Uh, more to come. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in the next one.